Hey there, trumpet players. It's Mrs. Tasha Morelli here to help you with your C scale. Now, so far, we've learned the low notes on this scale. C, D, E, and we've just learned F and G. Now we're gonna add the top three notes of our scale, A and high B and high C. Now you'll notice that the high C looks different from the low C. It also sounds different, but it has the same fingering of no fingers, just like G and low C. So that means that we're relying on your embouchure to get tighter in order to go up. Let's start by doing, in half notes, the first five notes of your scale, C, D, E, F, and G. we only go A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then we start over with our alphabet. A is the higher note after G. For A, you're going to push one and two, just like you did for E, but you have to tighten your embouchure to get the A. Here's the E. Now A. You have to tighten your embouchure a little bit this way, the stretchy way. Some people say smile. Some people say point your chin. Gives you a little bit extra stretch. And inside your mouth, if you need to say the word T, you can do that because your tongue will go up in the back and down the front and it will help your air to go a little bit faster. Let's practice that A again. Try it again. time. Just like you can do lip push-ups with G and C, you can do lip push-ups with A and E. So let's do three lip push-ups. We'll do A, E, A, E, A, E, three times. Slowly. basement look, note like this, you need to make sure that your lips are stretchy and that your bottom lip is in. If you need help, you can always buzz before you play. By buzzing before you play, you make sure that your embouchure is nice and tight. From A, we go up one to B, and now we have just middle finger. You might try going G, A, B. So let's try that in half notes, G, A, B. Try it again. Each note should sound one higher than the other, the same as how they look. For the high C, you're really stretchy embouchure, you really say T in your mouth, you're going to support with your sizzle muscle, and you might also need to squeeze some of your lower muscles, like in your butt or in your legs. Sometimes people want to curl their toes and that helps too. So here's the high C. If you need to, it helps to stand up in order to play the high C. And imagine the sound going through your whole instrument, out the other end, and all the way across the room, or even out the window, or even out the window and across the street and across the field, as far as you can imagine the sound going. High C. Imagine putting your sound all the way through the instrument.
So here's G, A, B, and high C all in half notes. It's easy, if you're having a hard time playing these higher notes, it's easy to use your arm muscles to push the instrument onto your face. But I don't want you to do that. I want you to make all the air and all the pressure come from within your body and go through the horn. You don't want to use your arms because you could hurt your, your lips, okay? You could hurt your embouchure. So let's practice the whole C scale going up from low C to high C. We'll do it twice in half notes. Sometimes the really hard part is the fingerings and it's hard to go slowly. So if you practice your fingerings, just fake play C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, and you get your fingers underneath of you, you can go a little bit faster. It's easier to make the notes come out if you're going faster and you have a little bit of momentum. After you get really good at this scale, see if you can practice doing it backwards. Keep on practicing and I'll see you at your next lesson.